this is Captain TV, your Catholic identity, and today... The opportunity to thank the Almighty God for such an opportunity to express ourselves. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Yeah. That who we are and who God... At home, we used to pray every day. If you want to pray for something, you should go and pray and then you will receive and then you will come back. A very good morning, dear viewer. This is Captain TV, your Catholic identity, and today on our Missions of Hope, as usual, we have guests that uh, are going to tell us why, why they are in the studio, what do they do, and more to understand about the missions of hope that uh, the religious men and women and are carrying out to help the society. To begin our day, we have a quote that says, you are capable, you are resilient, and you are worthy of every happiness life has to offer. Keep your head high, your heart open, and embrace the journey ahead with hope and determination. Karibu, Tumsif Yesu Christu. Welcome, Father, and please lead us with a word of prayer as we start off the program. Very good. Tulaanza na sala. Kwa jina la baba, la muana, la roho mtakatifu. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty Father, guide us throughout this day. Everything we do, everything we say is in your hands. Bless our actions. Bless the people we will encounter today and always show us the way to be your witnesses of love in the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Father Son, and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you, Sister. And Karibu to the studio. And you did not come alone. No, I did not <laughs> come alone. Yes, so maybe you introduce to our viewers who are you. What is this congregation? So my name is Father Maurizio. I'm a Comboni missionary, also known in Kenya as Verona Fathers. Mm -hmm. This is our 50 years of presence in Kenya. We've yeah. been here 15 years doing missionary work, doing the work of the Lord mm -hmm. throughout Kenya for the past 50 years. Yeah. Personally, I'm responsible for the program, the Comboni Missionaries have here in Kenya, a program that serves adolescents, young men at risk, young men living in the slums of Korokojo, Madare, Uruma, Kayole, Dandora, and who are going through some, some many challenges in life. Mm -hmm. So our program is aimed to give them, as it is our motto, hope, dignity, and love mm -hmm. to make them productive members of the society and good Christians in the world. Mm -hmm. And I came with two of them who already have begun their journey, and actually they are almost at the end. Mm -hmm. On my left is Brandon. Can so, just say you. <laughs> so hello everyone, my name is Brandon Collins Souma and I'm from Dandora, mm -hmm. Dandora Phase 4 actually near the dam site and I was a street street kid and now heading to my journey and I'm approaching finishing. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. And on my right is Wycliffe. Yes, hello, my name is Wycliffe. So I w once I used to live in Dandora. But now, Father took me to the countryside, is where I took my course of Form 4. Mm -hmm. More will come to know later. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, to you and welcome to the studio, Father Mauricio, Brandon, and Wycliffe. We have the guest today. And as we say, we offer hope, and today we are blessed to have people who are going to tell us the success story of the missions that is carried out by the religious men. And this particular group is the Comboni Missionaries. And Father Mauricio, Comboni Missionaries are celebrating 50 years. Maybe you could tell us how, for how long have you been with the Comboni Missionaries? Well, I've been for the Comboni Missionary 30 years this year. Wow, this year is my 30th year of vows. Mm -hmm. So I've been in vows for 30 years, mm -hmm. exactly 30 years ago. 
And I've been in Kenya for the past 10 years, since 2014. Mm -hmm. Before that, I used to work in the United States. Okay. I studied in Chicago, I studied theology in America, and I work with uh, at-risk youth also in the United States, in Chicago, in one of Chicago ghettos, mm -hmm. where I work with young men uh, living in gangs oh. in Chicago. Okay. That's my background. Then in 2014, in agreement with my superiors, mm -hmm. I was asked to come to Kenya okay. and continue the, the work with the young people here in Kenya. Okay, congratulations. Uh, you have you have an interest towards helping the the, the young men uh, from the ghetto. What inspires you to, to do this kind of work? Well, what inspired me since the beginning is Daniel Comboni, okay. our founder. Mm -hmm. Daniel Comboni came to Africa in the 19th century. One of the first ever missionaries to Kenya, to Africa, sorry. And he had his, uh, his belief was to save Africa with Africans. Yeah. Not to be a colonizer, yeah, another colonizer, yeah. but somebody who empowers the people. Mm -hmm. And especially the poorest and most abandoned. Okay. What inspired me was his deep faith in the Lord, first of all, yeah. his faith in the African people, mm -hmm. and his desire to empower people. Mm -hmm. Especially as he called them, the poor and most abandoned. Yeah. My inspiration came from there. I studied education, pedagogy in Italy before joining the Comboni missionaries. Mm -hmm. So I always lived in that world. And my, my dream was always, always to work with uh, marginalized youth, yeah. the youth that everybody else avoids for whatever reason, mm -hmm. the youth that they are somehow looked down from the society, mm -hmm. the youth that they are forced by life, by the situation of life, to be at the margins of society, and they do everything they can to mm -hmm. survive. Okay. That's my inspiration. Okay, thank you, Father. Uh, you have Brandon. Brandon, Mambo. Mkopoa. Mkopoa. Etwe ulikuwa dando. Ulikuwa dando. Okay, ndo huko maisha ya lianzia. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Ulijipataje kwa street, ndo Father haka kupata? Uh, life yangu ya street ilianza through, through drugs, so... Mm -hmm. We were As at home, we started taking drugs from home, or how did it happen? It happened uh, when, mm. because my, my dad was a drug user and, okay. and he used to use alcohol and, and Chavez. The, the, yani jine amtona itanga mcha, so. Yeah, nini? Chavez. Yeah, nini yo? Tobacco. Tobacco, okay. Hile, I've got you. Eh, yo, sasa, sasa. Kuna wae watu nyatu mia through chewing na through sniffing. So, mini nikuwa na unamzai wangu wa kitumia na marafiki zake. So, nika mwasiku moja nitumia. So, kikuja kama melewa. Mindo wa mimi na jichaka na lafu na jisikumia. Siku yangu ya koza kujaribu nilikuwa class 5. So, siku tu zikaenda, nikitumia tu, nikitumia. Life yangu ikaza tu kukua. Life in Eleweki, as in relationship, young, because I took a big slowly by slowly. Love but don't go on a depression, Jupia, Mzaika Kamali, Nakanza could travel, Napia, Sijona Mamuangu, seriously as in Tangunza Lewis J. Mona, so on a Julius and Maswali Mingi. So na life young, we are in Nashinunga Nini, but Nini 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 is a Luani Kaikoi life. So Nikakuana my challenges Mingi, Nikafka class eight, Nikafanya Mtiani Angu, like any. Maxi na nilipata, ya siku pata ina nikuwa taka ile mzuri, nipata mm. 272, so saa challenges ikanzi hapo. So, tukafika ya unajua ile jena unafikanga, unanza kuinge kwa pia pressure ya mabijana huko mta, nini. Yeah. Saa, life ya drugs ikanza kuwa serious. Hii bado ya huku ya we primary, mm -hmm. ilikuwa tuya kuguzia. So, Hebu ni kuulize kabla yeah. ufike hapo. Hii yenye ulianza, ulikuwa tu unatumia ile ya baba ama uliweza kujua kwamba kuna zingine at that age still. So, mi venye nilianza, hii ya baba venye nilijia introduce, nikajua kuna zingine na through marafiki, hii ya kanza kuingia kwa bangi na alcohol. So, ikifika mashereka, hii ya 31st, 25th, ama 24th. Ilikuwa gasku advantage kwa nguzo nikuwa natumia. Hizo time badu nikuwa natumia nguzo time. So, nikiendelea, ikafika nga, Mali ni kamaliza yu class 8, ni ka join high school. Mm -hmm. Ni ka join uko pande za ke meru, ni yu shule likuwa jita ke ru boys. Mm -hmm. So, after hapo, vitu zikanza kukua. Yani siyezi kabila yuzo drugs sasa. Ni ki ingia shule, lazima ni ingia na wana shule pia. Sachu wana pigo, kipatika na nazo ni ji. So, lazima, minu likuwa natumia ujanja angu. Likuwa nazificha kwa kiatu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kuna design kwa naratu wa kiatu, nazisunda uko ndani. Mm -hmm. So, 
nikaendelea tu kuzitumia nikaendelea kuzitumia nikaendelea kuzitumia eh, ukaendelea kuzitumia shule wacha tufikie hapo alafu mm. tutaendelea baadaye sawa uh, weekly yes. what about your story ulijipataje pia wewe ni wadando yeah ni nubogi ya dando okay ulijipataje kwenye hiyo situation yenye fadha akaja akakupata okay mm. yeah, it happened like this so unajua kuna wale parents kuna wazazi wengine wako tu yani wanatamani kukusaidia lakini sasa ile yenye yenye yani hiyo opportunity ana okay ana opportunity yani ile kitu kama do pesa lack of money so inafika inaenda kuna baada mimi zangu wako itumie hizo vitu okay so ilifika mahali mm. nile nikuenda shule ikafika mahali amekosa ad fee mm-hmm. so tuko tu hivyo tuko abandon kwa street tulikuwa na maboy watatu kwa street tulikuwa na maboy watatu Mhm. Na mimi ndio mbili. Okay. Yeah, sawa wengine wako ni fuata. Sasa so, hiyo afika mahali lazima tuende tutafute tafute do wenyewe. Mhm. Yeye wenyewe. Eh si wenyewe. Wazazi wapo. Wazazi wako lakini sasa unajua ile kazi anafanya ni si ati ile nyana atapata. So unaelewa. So yeah. tutafute do wenyewe. So wenyewe ndio tujishughulikie unaona. Okay. So kuenda hapo hivyo tukapata tumeacha shule na tujui hata tumeuja tumejisahau. Mm. Tumeona pesa muhimu. Moja hizo pesa za haraka vyenye poa. Sure. Eh yeah, tumeona hizo pesa ni za muhimu. Mm-hmm. So kuona hivyo kabidi sasa tunaanza kutafuta hizo. Kuona hivyo shule ya nani nani? Piga shule teke. That was that was 2011. Mm. I was I was still small but I was the aged one mm. in my siblings. So sikuwa na otherwise so ikabidi tupigwe shughuli hivyo. Mm-hmm. So ile pia pia pressure kutana na vijana hivi ndio kuko unaona pesa yenyewe ukaenda kuzunguka kutafuta siji hizo zinaitwa plastic hizo. Yeah. Ukiuza unaona unapata do kidogo. Yeah. So ni kwanza kupiga watu ungeta kuna wanyang'anya Kenya wako nayo simu mm-hmm. pesa mm-hmm. so tukaingia kwa hiyo mm-hmm. tena tukaanza kufanya hiyo shughuli mm-hmm. so ukafika time tena hiyo pesa tunaona kai tutoshi tuanza kwenda zile round usiku mm-hmm. kutafuta vitu kuiba vitu usiku hizo mara round sababu mgogopi kwa sababu mko adogo ama kuna magang alao ambao mnaenda na wao tulikuwa it was like a squad oh okay. yeah you okay. were like a squad mm-hmm. so ukafika time lazima uchome amu tumia madua ya ndio kwa sasa kwa hiyo mbogi umeingia sasa kwa hiyo gang vizuri mm. lazima uko unatumia madawa mm. so ikafika pia si nasema kina nani pia si tutajiweka ndani unaanza kutumia madawa so ikafika time unaona pia life kakuwa ngumu okay. kama in 2012 ndio sasa nikutana na mama mwingine nilikuwa tu sasa shughuli zangu hadi kidogo nimpiga ngeta mm. dio shikwa sikwa namjua so nilikuwa nakutana na yeye kwa chuo kwa sasa uko umri gani that time? Asa nimesonga 2012 nime mm. nilikuwa 14 years. Okay. So naangalia nikaangalia eh umadhe. Unajua sasa tulikuwa na jidanga. Mimi kwa jidanga aji 2012 by the way I was tall. Okay. Nilikuwa mkubwa though age. Yeah, nilikuwa kidogo. kidogo yeah. Yeah. so mm. nilikuwa mkubwa. Mm. So kuenda kupigwa mama ngeta kumbe siku anajua mm-hmm. anafanya kwa social worker. Mm-hmm. So mama mama alinisha. Huyo mama ndiye alinisaidia. Mhm. Akanipeleka. So was Madam Tina. Madam Tina. Yeah. Shout out to Madam Tina. Yes. Madam Tina. Mm-hmm. So he was the one who helped me. Mm-hmm. So before him pigia ngeta kaniambia so nita kufanya nini? Jo mama pia alikuwa mjanja si ati akuwa fala. Yeah. <laughs> alikuwa mjanja. <laughs> so Anda alikuwa amewazoea. <laughs> eh alikuwa anjua na vijana juu mm-hmm. obviously so, alikuwa ametunza watoto wengi wa big wa big you. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can't realize that this program of rehabilitation mm-hmm. started long time ago around 26 okay. so he hapo before alikuwa amesha deal na watu wengine wakubwa kubwa so mimi hadi alikuwa na watu wengine na kaenda kufanya juu nilikuwa nimshika yari nilikuwa nishamshika akanishika akanirudisha mbele jua mama pia anakuwa strong akanirudisha mbele akaanza kutaka kufanya nini akanishika akaniambia bwana hii mchezo unafanya bado mtu mdogo uko na future kajaribu kuniangalisha twende naye huko eh nikakataa tu ati wapi kwani nilikuwa naijua boma mm. boma rescue mm-hmm. ai nilikuwa naijua nikasema hii na hapana huko mm-hmm. siezi enda ukasema uwezi enda boma rescue ah siezi ai goja tutaendelea kusikia ili fikafikaje <laughs> for the mauricio yes. this is the story of your boys and uh, uh, how did you how did your congregation begin the the, the whole, napenda napenda kuishi Yeah. Uh, project so as uh, Luke was saying the program mm-hmm. the project began actually in 2007 and 8 mm-hmm. and uh, as it was intended as a small children's home mm-hmm. uh, as the year developed 
uh, more and more the communists before me, the fathers who ran the programs before me, were leaning toward making a, some kind of specialized children's home. Mm -hmm. When I came, uh, we really went full speed into becoming a rehabilitation program. So from a children's home yeah. to a full-fledged rehabilitation program mm -hmm. and going from little children to teenagers and young men. Reason why mm -hmm. the, the company were always attentive because of our charisma yeah. to the poorest and most abandoned. Yeah. So in the slums, especially in Corococcio, Dandora, Matara, we realized at the beginning among the poorest and most abandoned were all obviously children. Mm -hmm. As the year went by, we realized that another group was really abandoned, mm. which were teenagers and young men, yeah. feared by the people yes. very <laughs> much. Small. because Yes, <laughs> because they are not small. Yeah. Because they do, what I say, they do everything they can to survive. Sure. So they do things that they are not sometimes right mm -hmm. in order to survive. Mm. They are avoided, they are uh, persecuted even by the police at times. Yeah. You find good policemen and then some take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, used by gangs to collect scraps and then resell uh, at a price that is ridiculous. Yeah. And when I came, we really veered toward this age group for that reason. Mm -hmm. These are, I hope they forgive me, yeah. potential criminals, yeah. big time criminals. Mm -hmm. So I always believe that prevention is better, better than, than, than curing later, sure. or persecution, putting people in prison or killing them. Mm -hmm. So our, our idea was really to to become a program where these young men to go from a street life to successful people in life. Sure. You know, the, the two young men here, Brandon and Wycliffe, are really the example. Brandon will tell you what he's doing now. Yeah. And Wycliffe, I hope he tells us how much he's scoring at KCCC yes. last <laughs> year. Yeah, because it's their there. journey for us, yeah. there is a beginning of the program sure. and the end of the program. They yeah. don't stay with us long. Okay. Because we want to be a moment in their life. Mm -hmm. And no, they don't want, we don't want to make them dependent on us. Sure. Like they were dependent on drugs before. Mm -hmm. It would mm -hmm. be a crime to make them dependent on an institution later on. Sure. So our goal is to give them independence. Mm -hmm. And all the tools they need to survive and being pro uh, citizen, good citizen in mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And hence the name Napenda Kuishi. Napenda Kuishi. Yeah. I want to live. <laughs> yes. Which was given uh, really in 2007, 2008 when oh. the program started. Okay. This desire to not just to survive mm -hmm. as many young people do on the street, which is very different from living, yeah. living a full life mm -hmm. and being happy, okay. which is, I think, what God wants us to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, dear viewer. In the studio, we have uh, Father Mauricio. Uh, the Com a Comboni missionary working with the uh, rehabilitation center Napenda Kuishi and they are telling us their story. I hope you are being inspired by these young men who are telling real life, real life experiences, real stories. See Ngano, see stories Ajaba. It is something that they have gone through. Uh, Brandon, umejipata shule. Ukaendeleza uraibu wako ama walimu wakajua wakakustopisha uh, mi mi baitha sisi saa hii saa hii nimekaa soba for 2 years mm -hmm. soba from drugs crime mm -hmm. so saa hii as in si atakuwa tunapewa atakuwa tunapewa tima somo tunapewa order ati wewe cheki mm -hmm. ati usi, usivute bange ukivuta bange nda kucha nda unapewa tu skills za maisha mm -hmm. na uta acheza nao kipande yako so wewe uko mjanja mm -hmm. kwa mjanja survive nayo lakini ka utaki pia unaweza chana so choice mm -hmm. the choice is always yours and mm -hmm. yours alone so mi choice yangu naitumia mzuri mm -hmm. ni msaina abstain mm -hmm. jua nyele life nilikuwa naishi kwa mzuri mm -hmm. ile life na tuna depend kwa drugs na kama una hiyo pesa ya drugs unajua unafanya nini next mm -hmm. ku join gangs mm -hmm. jua ni shaingi ya dam site tumefanya fanya huko kazi tumefanya ama eh tumefanya ama cartel kazi mm -hmm. yao wenye na chukulia hizi maskrepa wana tulipa. Mm -hmm. So life, life ina kwa challenges mingi. Lakini wewe design uta approach. Mm -hmm. Ndo inamata. Si hati u-react na wenge kwa depression jo. Fala. Izo, izo. So even ndo saa life yangu. Wewe uli, 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 uli piga watu ngeta? Hei, ile si mchezo. Hey. Adi, benye undu gyangu anasema. Iyo ni kidogo. Hei, hey. design ene, moditina duwadia lini okoa kwa baitha wae. Okay, the same lady. Nambiga, pali yako, ajue. Okay. 
Ajue. Alikupata aje? Mm. Mm. Mi alinipata through kwa sababu alikuwa anajua na my mom na mimi sikuwa najua. Mm-hmm. So na pia yako ananijua. Alikuwa anatua anasikia ga story kunihusu Mairia fanye huko kijana ni mbaya nini. Mm-hmm. Juu by the by the time from 2 hapo nili drop out shule form 2 mm. that was in after corona hivi nilienda shule hadi siku sana mm-hmm. nika drop so nikarudi saa home sana ile mioto yote sasa okay nikarudi na ile mioto yote so we drop kupenda ama ile zilisha ah, si ile zilisha mm. ile ile tu yenye mm. kusumbua shule kufanya nini kupiga okay. watu okay. yani unajua drugs bado inakuweka anga kwa violence kwa ngi mtu mwenye mtu wako steady so move the same model tena nilipata mm. Nilikuwa siku moja hapo kwetu ilikuwa usiku so kuna jamaa fulani alikuwa na alikuwa na parking alipo alikuwa na parking ma staff zake hapo nje mandazi na flash to flash hapo ana chapo nje anaenda na lala so mm-hmm. si tulikuwa na mimi nilikuwa naruka kwa plot naruka ju plot imefungwa mm-hmm. gate imefungwa vizuri wezi toka so naruka nje naenda nachukua hizo vitu zake zote so tulikuwa nachukua nilikuwa nachukua karibu crate tatu ya yeah, nini <laughs> ya yeah, ya makidf <laughs> So nakuwa ni kama nimeinunua kwa soko. Wa, sikuwa na nguvu. Mm, au sijali, <laughs> sijali. Yo yo ni survival tactics. So ni survival tactics. Mm, mm-hmm. Nachukua mama mzake juu jamaa alikuwa anga ni msemaji alikuwa amejipina my equipment kama za kusikiza ngoma mm-hmm. na mwimbia uto tu zile speaker za pikipiki. Mm-hmm. Na usikuje kumshika alikuwa under influence. Eh, Akwa tu sawa. Elewa tu. <laughs> Elewa tu. <laughs> <laughs> so ikaendelea gatu hivyo lakini siku moja mm. siku kwa gana bahati mm-hmm. alinipata okay inside the room inside there red under yeah. the nadis ngefanya kitu yes, so nikapiga hesabu ya kuhepa ananijua mm-hmm. kwenda kutoroka nikashikwa na na, na wasi wengine walikuwa wamejipanga hiyo siku mm-hmm. so wakanichukua wakanigonga wakanigonga ile kunigonga bana walinigonga hiyo siku lakini juu ya influence ya drugs mm-hmm. juu ya scoop kabla sijaenda nilikuwa na usiku nilikuwa naji kulizia so mimi nimepigwa nime, nimepigwa nimepigwa so majirani wanatoka nje wanashindwa huni nani kumbe wana niangalia wanasema ah ni ule kijana wengine juu ameshanizoea wanasema yenyewe tumemzoea tumemzoea acha tu akufe so acha akufe lakini mm. mi designer ni feel wengine tu wanakuja wananiangalia hivi wanarudi kwa nyumba so Ispokuwa tu mmoja alitoka mm-hmm. akakuja akaenda kaita mama juu pia hiyo area tunajulikana akakuja aka akashout nini lakini wako na msikiza so ikabidi wababa wengine wa plot wakuje wasaidie mm-hmm. saidie nilipigwa vibaya nilipigwa vibaya hadi kwa mke ilikuwa shida so Boy. so nikaamuka mm-hmm. nikaenda nikadoze nika mwangu akansomea asubuhi asubuhi nikarauka nikapelekwa usi kafanywa hizo ma treatment nini mm-hmm. lakini saa walikuwa wanataka niende nifanywe e-x-ray waangalie juu fracture yangu ukiangalia hizi mguu ni venye siezi waonyesha sasa watu waliangoe niwe yeah. na mkono kuna designs liko zinakaa inakanika inaenda kuvunjika lakini vunjiki mm-hmm. juu wako ananipiga tena sponge ni mbao chuma walikuwa wa determine kukumaliza ile determine juu mm. wenye niluangaisha so mimi venye story ilikuwa tu inaendelea story mbaya zikaanza kufika mta so modeti na kasikiangaza ma story akakujanga so siku moja akakuja walikonga na jumia hizi mm-hmm. masaza jioni unazijua hizi yeah. zenye ndofanya na tuesday eh yeah, you are some small christian community yeah. so mm-hmm. ndo saka hiyo siku nikakuja kwa nyumba nilikuwa nilikuwa kwa bedroom by the mm-hmm. akakuja akanipata huko ndani akasema kumbe ukijana na kuoga wako nasikiaga story mbaya kumuhusu mm-hmm. akachukua akachukua robe nini mm-hmm. akajenga hii mkono bali kwa uchungu mm-hmm. ndio kwa sababu anapiga nduru hivi <laughs> anasema usishike 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 yeah. mm-hmm. juu yenyewe hiyo kitu ilikuwa expensive ati niende nipigwe x-ray nipeleke kwa hospitali ndo nitibiwe nifanye nini lakini yeye yeah, saa ile kienyeji anaelewa bado akanishughulikia mm-hmm. juu acha yako na experience by the same mimi si mimi wa kwanza mm-hmm. sisi sema mimi ndo wa kwanza kunishughulikia mm-hmm. mimi ndo mimi akaanza kulipa hiyo story ya ati napenda kuishi eh nikasikia wewe ni uko ni wapi tena na unapenda kuishi uko hapa tuna tutakuja <laughs> pole na kukatia kwa sababu ya muda lakini hadithi story real life experience being told by the real people they are telling their real story napenda kuishi in the studio and we have father mauricio uh, the the one running this uh, uh, rehabilitation program uh, do not go away 
story bado inapamba. Tunataka tujue wamefika wapi, what are they doing in life? Do not go away. This is Captain TV, Missions of Hope program. Commercial <laughs> Situation ya mkoro, ndo hili kwenye nani, ya ni hili kwenye nani kula kitu wa mbae. Mkoro, hana hizo dawa ni mse msika. Mkoro anafaikuri yao, nona. Ya ni hili kwa tuwe ni najaribu tu, ile uwezo ya angu mali nigeza, unona. Yutu ndo kitu ni hili kwa najaribu, ya ni hitu mali naweza ya ni nifa. Yendo kitiri ningi za abondani. TV, you are Catholic identity, and today the opportunity to thank the Almighty God for such an opportunity to express ourselves. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Yeah. That who we are and who God. At home, we used to pray every day. If you want to pray for Sam, you should go and pray, and then you will receive, and then you will come back. Ekaristi Sakramenti ya Ekaristi ni sakramenti ya mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo aliye kweli katika maumbo ya mkate na divai. Kupata Ekaristi takatifu kama sikiza tuni yako, tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738 moja sufuri mbili saba moja kwa nane moja moja The opportunity to thank the Almighty God for such an opportunity to express ourselves. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Yeah. That who we are and who God. At home, we used to pray every day. If you want to pray for Sam, you should go and pray, and then you will receive, and then you will come back. Welcome back. Uh, we are still going on with the conversation. And we have Father Mauricio in studio, Brandon and Wycliffe. Father Mauricio, Napenda Kuishi. For one to be, how do you go about uh, uh, bringing the, 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 I mean, the boys? Mm -hmm. Is it for boys? Yes, yeah. We, we, we boys. Like call them young Boy men. Child, young, young men. men. <laughs> young men. We like yes, how, how is that process? So the process, mm -hmm. our, pro our program mm -hmm. is structured in a full year, okay. January to December. As okay. I said earlier, mm -hmm. we don't want to keep the young men with us too long. Mm -hmm. Just the time needed for their rehabilitation mm -hmm. and then reintegration into society. Okay. So the program starts in January every year, mm -hmm. it starts in January with the, our two centers that they are in, uh, in the slums. One is in Corococcio, mm -hmm. called Kishumundogo, where mm -hmm. Brandon comes from. Okay. And the other one is uh, between Dandora and uh, Corococcio, called Bomarescu, where Wycliffe comes from. Mm -hmm. January to March, part of the staff spend their time on the street, mm -hmm. in Dandora, on the dumping site, in Corococcio, in Madari, 
and country the young men where they are, okay. and building relationship. I think for us, the, the, the main thing is to, to gain their trust, okay. which is not easy at the beginning, yeah. because you know, mm. a bunch of people coming and wanting to talk to you, mm. and you are busy collecting scraps or sure. stealing phones or other <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, at the beginning, we can say the first therapies happen on the street. Mm -hmm. These young men are engaged in conversation, and they, they are invited to come to the center. Mm. They are never brought there mm. because they have to show the willingness to turn their life around. Sure. And the first step is to come to us. They are told where the centers are yeah. without any promise. We don't promise food. Mm -hmm. We don't promise education. We, don't pro we only promise that we will help them in their rehabilitation journey. Okay. From there, the therapies begin. We are a highly specialized program mm -hmm. in rehabilitation. So most of our staff is highly specialized. We have counseling psychologists mm -hmm. and social workers on staff. Okay. Uh, we base a lot on counseling, life skill classes, psychoeducation, art therapy, music therapy, mm -hmm. world therapy, as part of their rehabilitation journey, with the aim to reintegrate them to their families first. Okay. One thing we, f we do uh, since the first few months mm -hmm. is try to reconnect them with their families, which is not always an easy task yeah. because there were maybe mm -hmm. serious mm -hmm. reasons why the, the young men left. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, they lie a lot <laughs> <laughs> about because the phone they number. They have to create yes. trust. Yeah, to yeah. create trust. Mm -hmm. and, am I correct? <laughs> <laughs> and then little by little, the trust is gained mm -hmm. and we reconnect them with their families, mm -hmm. which also become part of their journey. We also have family therapy, as we call it, for their families, how to welcome back a person, a young man, who will be spent four or five years on the street. Mm -hmm. So the journey goes like, for those who after one year mm -hmm. of outpatient program in the two centers in the slum, after that, if they are ready, they go back to school, if it's the case. Okay. They go to vocational training. They go to apprenticeship. All of them with their families, no longer with us. Oh. Yeah, we support them by supporting their families. Okay. And we want the families involved. You know, we, I don't believe, we don't believe in uh, freeloading. Yeah. Uh, for sorry for, yeah. for using this yeah, expression. Yeah. Mm. So the families have to contribute whatever they can. Yeah. Small or big, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Whatever they can in the reintegration education of their child. Mm -hmm. So those who go back to school, like we could do, those, for those cases who are uh, very complicated, they are brought to our residential facility in Ongata Rongai, mm -hmm. where they spend another full year doing strictly drug rehab. It's not a school. Mm -hmm. They do rehabilitation for one full year. Mm -hmm. After that, again, in agreement with their families, and with now with the young men, yeah. secondary school, vocational training, apprenticeship. And one thing we try to do, and I mean, people may not agree with this, mm -hmm. we try not to get them back to the slums. We, want, we try to relocate them maybe in Ushago, uh -huh. where they extend their families. Okay. Because in psychology, you cannot go back to the place where that triggers your addictions. Okay. It will be very bad. Okay. So they are invited to go in other places. We contact the extended families, okay. we visit, and okay. that's where the program works, more okay. or less. Thank you. We are getting to know the Napenda Kuishi program that uh, Father Mauricio ran. And in the studio, we have two boys who are engaged in that. I hope you are following. If you are just uh, uh, watching us as of now, in the studio, we have Father Mauricio, a Komboni missionary. And we have Brandon and Wycliffe, two young men who are, who are pendering Kuishi. <laughs> <laughs> Wycliffe. Ukaona boma wewe unasikia story za hiyo place ukakuwa kama ungependa kwenda lakini madam Tina alifanya nini So silifika time nikasema ilifika time mm. hasa mtaka kumaribika mm -hmm. So the only place mm. ni huko tu jua kumtaka umefanya makosa kila mtu anaona tu wewe haustahili mm -hmm. kila mtu anaona tu wewe ni mbaya sasa mm. So nikapika nikakaa nikaona tunaweza kusaidia na hayo mm -hmm. Sasa ni kuenda kushinda huko mchana, watu usinione mm. mchana wati. Lakini sasa, deal za usiku zile ma, na ito ma night shift. Mm. Hizo night shift sasa ni kwa tunapiga. Lakini za mchana, mm. sasa unapiga usiku, lakini mchana wati unaji. Mm. Sasa ni kuwa, ni likuwa kama hide. Yeah. Hii likuwa nga hiding place. Yeah. Mchana. Mm. So unapiga usiku shuguli yako, lakini mchana wati unajificha huko. So kuna maata kuwana. Mm. So walikuji ikafika maali sasa ile 
baadhi yao church ndio yangu ukwa na siki yangu mmoja kwa kisa mamba church na toka tu na njoo ni rehabilitation mm-hmm. so ika fikia time ile nye enyewe kuna kitu enye mtu anaweza kufunza hata kawe ni wenda wazimu mm. kuna nyenye anaweza kushika na una unaguzwa kuna una jambo inafika unaguzwa so mm. ilifika mahali watu watu ndio wamebadilika karibu wote lakini sio kiangalia mimi mm. enyewe mimi niko different na watu mm, niko kitu. different yani mm. Adi wewe mwenyewe inafika time watu wengine wanafanya activity yenye ya maana. Mm. Huko tu kando unaangalia. Yaani ikafika mahali kuona tu kweli vitu zinafanya pia si poa. Mm-hmm. Sasa hapo unajua kwa hiyo rehab tunapewa kuna kuna food unapewa food. Mm-hmm. Then kuna hizi lessons kadha za kufunza about hizi addiction drugs. Mm-hmm ona kufunza au venye unaweza unaweza avoid mm. then kuna hizi services hizi za church mm. so unajua sasa hiyo ni kadha so alikuwa yeah. tunafunza vitu kama hizo so mm. ikafika mahali kaona wala hiyo na asifanye poa mm. so ikabidi hasa pia mimi nikaanza kuchukua nikaanza kuchange pole pole nikaanza kusema kuna venye nitakaa hivi sasa pia mimi nabadilika pole pole mm-hmm. so ikafika time pia wenye pia mimi wakaanza kuona kuna venye nabadilika juu sasa hiyo kuja kusenta nilikuwa nakuja masaa yangu yanataka mm. kama ni saa saba nilikuwa na time tu ni saa saba na ingia ndio kule ndio um, kule okay jisa huko mtaa sana ni kubaya yeah umeibu umeenda umeshinda movie ndio watu wasikuana alafu natukuja huko mm. unakula mm. siku yako inaisha hivyo tena unarudi mtaa jioni so nikaona nikaanza kuja asubuhi eh wakaanza kushangana nini mbaya najua sikiti ya kawaida mm. so kuja asubuhi hivyo so nika manage kumaliza the first year That is 2012. Okay. So 2013 when your father amesema mm. wana do recollect na familia sasa. Mm. Wanakupeleka kwa family, okay. si ndio? Yeah. So kisha fika kwa familia mm-hmm. wanakuuliza kinyi unaweza fanya most. Okay. Tuliko nilikuwa mdogo, si ndio? Mimi mm. nikaona kinaweza saidi, kinaweza enda tu shule. Mm. So nikasema wanipeleke shule. Mm. So kwenda shule hasa kitu nyo alifanya ni kunipeleka boarding school. Na hiyo ndio kitu siku anataka kwa maisha yangu boarding. Uza ku board. Alafu kwa boarding <laughs> nuko Kajado only talk to kwa Masai. Okay. <laughs> so mnashinda yani mnashinda place imekauka hakuna hata mm. unajua huko hakuna vile unaweza survive. Si <laughs> <laughs> toroka usurvive huko kwa kichaka. Hatuko tunajua njia. Hata <laughs> <laughs> utoroka utaenda. <laughs> Okay. Hakuna <laughs> kutaenda. Mm. So ikafika mahali tukaona tulikuwa wengi by the way. Tulikuwa wengi. Mm. Kwa tumetoka center. Tukapelekwa school huko Tok Tok. So ikafika mahali sasa tunapiga hatua sababu ya kuhepa. Mm. Tuko shule lakini bado tunatumia madawa. Okay. Sijui hata sijui kwa una jamaa fanana kwa tuletea tu hata tujua kwa ndoa. Shule. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Na uko class? Hiyo sasa nilikuwa tumekuwa tumerudisha 4. Oh. Eh sasa nimerudi 4. Tuko shule tunatumia ndio hata kujua zinatoka hapa hizo zinaingia si tunanunua je sasa huko wa Masai kuna venye mnaweza sema hizo time walikuwa mafalafala kiasi so walikuwa wanatuletea madawa si tunawapea chakula kitu kama kuna jamaa fulani kwa tuletea mm-hmm. tunampe makangumu hizo mm-hmm. na tupatia yako tu sana mm-hmm. tupe mm-hmm. so si tunatumia so kwa tunajicharge shule so unafika time mwalimu anakuambia kitu tunaona wewe hakuna kianiambia so hiyo 2013 tu tunaenda holiday Ivo ndo tuliandanga tena tukaenda kabisa. Atakuwa irudi boma, mm-hmm. atakuwa irudi shule. Mm-hmm. So we tulimaliza hapo na tukaenda kabisa. Sasa mko wangapi? Ama mko? Tulikuwa number of ilikuwa six, number six of, of six. You. Okay, yeah. okay. Tawa weekly. Father Mauricio, yes. how, how difficult is it for you to keep the the boys or um, the young men in the center because they have to keep back going back to the street because yes. they are used to that kind of life uh, especially in mm. the two centers we have in the slums mm-hmm. Sumundogo and Boma Rescue mm. is always a challenge also mm-hmm. because now that we, our age bracket is much older yeah. these young men they need to to fend for themselves at the yeah. beginning so mm. they need to go to work mm. on the dumping side mm-hmm. to try to collect and resell something and those are outpatient center so they don't sleep there the boys yeah. so it's always a challenge to keep them motivated to stay in the program so mm-hmm. to come after work mm-hmm. to to attend all the program with all the, the various therapies and activities when we know that by five o'clock 5 30 they are back on the street mm-hmm. that's why we try as fast as we can to reconnect them with their families okay so for a huge majority now in the past few years by may 
remember the program starts in January, by May, <laughs> most of them already go back home to sleep, yeah. which makes our work a little easier yeah. because there is some form of supervision. They have a place to go. Uh, we provide food, obviously, but also the, the, the psychological support, the psychological strength they yeah. need to survive on the street. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, an addicted person is always a fragile person. Yeah. He needs, he or she needs to be equipped in a way that he or she can fend off all the temptations, going from peer pressure, from need of money, need of food. Mm -hmm. So they need to be strong inside. And uh, one thing I've realized in, in these 10 years, huge majority of our young men are highly intelligent young men. Yeah. You, you cannot survive on the street if mm. you are not intelligent. <laughs> Let's be very brutal. Uh, because mm -hmm. the street is, uh, is violent, mm -hmm. but also requires a certain dose of intelligence in order to navigate yeah. all the challenges, all the problems of the street. Mm -hmm. That's why we decide to, to use their abilities, their talents. Okay. You know, we also try to rediscover their talents. One thing we do is to give them dreams, mm -hmm. to show them it's okay to dream again. You know, if you survive on the street, your mm -hmm. dream is to survive tomorrow. Sure. With us, they start dreaming about secondary school, education, university. Mm -hmm. In 2022, eight of our young men graduated from Form 4. All, of eight, all eight of them are in university, going from Nairobi University studying law. Wow. Somebody has studied medicine. So mm -hmm. very, very highly successful academically because they learn to dream again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Father Mauricio. Time, time is chasing us, <laughs> uh, but uh, do not go away. We are going for another short break, and when we come back, we go to our third and last segment. I hope we shall be able to handle all the questions that you have. If we don't, maybe we shall organize another day. I, know, I don't know, but keep watching. Do not go away. It is getting sweeter as we go by. <laughs> identity and today the opportunity to thank the almighty god for such an opportunity to express ourselves pray for us we need your prayers yeah. that who we are and who god at home we used to pray every day if you want to pray for something you go and pray and then you receive and then you come back Christianity, in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and prophets. Islam, no one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself. Judaism, what is hateful to you do not do to your neighbor, this is the whole Torah, all the rest is commentary. Baha'i Faith Lay not on any soul a load that you would not wish to be laid upon you and desire not for anyone the things you would not desire for yourself. Buddhism Treat not others in ways that you yourself would find hurtful. 
Hinduism. This is the sum of duty. Do not do to others what would cause pain if done to you. Welcome back, and we are grateful for all those who are following us. Uh, Teresia Kemunto, good morning, Father Maurizio and Sister Esther with Brandon and Otalo from Moranga, tuned in, following. Then there is Joseph Masindano, tuned from Naivasha, Karagita, Diocese of Nakuru. Greetings to Komboni missionaries. Teresia Njeri, tuned from Nativity of our Lord, Kagwe Parish. Greeting to the Komboni missionaries. And Fifi Emushi. Following, keep following. The story is getting sweeter and inspirational. Brandon, there is one question I want to ask. Bef when we started, you said you have never seen your mother. Yeah. But there is somewhere you said, my mother, akaongea na mamangu. So, sijui. Mm -hmm. Uyu. So, mm. Mm -hmm. This is not actually my mom. It's my stepmom. Lakini nime, mm. ishinae, hizo miaka zote. So, uyo ndiyo mama. So okay, I get, I get it. I get it. So, yeah, it's good for the people to understand that the mother he talks about, ambako alipatikana, ni stepmother. But the real mother, you would wish to see her. Are you told kwamba ako ama? Ah, nilenda ushago banya tulipele kwa integration. Nikambi wali kufanga. Okay, may she rest in peace. Uh, so, Brandon amechapwa, <laughs> amepigwa karibu anakufa, tina anakuja. Mm -hmm. What happened? Si, nilipele, aline introduce story about center. Mm -hmm. Lakini at first nilikuwa nakata. Mm -hmm. Sama huku ni wapi huku. Nikapele kwa siku ya kwanza, ndo nyeshe mzazi. Nijaribu kugini ile trust yake kidogo juu. Mm -hmm. Joisi nilifanyika ikuwa raisi. Mm. So, Nikaenda ya siku ya kwanza, siku ya pili. Mm. Wiki, nikaanza kwe one month, nikaenda katu mfululizo na onyesha some possibility of change. Lakini tena mambo ikaanza kubadilika. Marafiki pia ya wale wanasema, ay, unaenda wapi mana venye uradi, kuna uradi lijipa. <laughs> Sana ni mbo likuwa metoka, wameenda mm. form fulani. Mm. Lakini ni form ya wizi. Mm -hmm. So, ay, nasema, sani kikasenta, hakuna do, mm. hakuna nini. Sa lazima tu niende ni jitaftie, jupia mi. Sikuwa na tegemea mzazi ile sana. Mm -hmm. Most of the time nilikuwa na jitegemea nguo zangu na jibaia. Mm -hmm. Jupia mzazi ukiangalia situation yake kuna design bado hawezi. So yeah. ajiwezi ile sana. So mimi nilikuwa nachukua hiyo advantage naenda tunaenda until kaza ngatu kuona marafiki zangu tu wanaanza kufa one by one. Nikaanza ngaku wanashutiwa ama mm, wanashutiwa kwanza okay. mm. na unangani kazi nyingine zilikuwa gazina ni kibahati tu juu. Mm. Unapata huyu mori ameenda. Wewe hiyo siku ilikuwa uende lakini ule mwa uende center mm. kibati mbaya wakakufa so nasema mm. enye bado mungu wana akona plans na mimi ene misi jui mm -hmm. alafu tena kitu ingine likuwa nalipia motivation through yote milikuwa center mm -hmm. likuwa nona hawa se hawa se juu watu ingine wanafanya tu mzuri wanatitua mzuri kwa center lakini saa mimi mm -hmm. mindo saa nilikuwa ga disturber yani na wanaona ninasumbua so nika sema nga kuliko tu ni kuwe mbaya watu wamezoea kuniwa kuna mtu mbaya acha nitamwe kuwa mzuri jwadi home mm -hmm. home relationship ilikuwa mbaya sana mm. juu bado relation uh, ni relationship si ongele relationship ya bado ikaanza ku ikaanza ku break up ya familia mm -hmm. ma girlfriend nini mm -hmm. so nika kwa mtu mwenye nime lose hope sasa zingine anajiambia hadi nafai kukufa sasa nikaingia tu kwa hiyo depression so Life ilikuwa tu inanisumbo yo design ikamuwa tu acha ni ingie. So nikapele kwa nga rongai after, after kutoka kisumu ndogo. Mm -hmm. Kupele kwa rongai nikaspendu. Ya, ya kwanza ile challenges ya kwanza. Mm. Unaingia huko weni violence juwe nye uja zoya. New, new environment, mm. utulivu, mm. umezoya madrugs, umezoya yeah. kuibu, umezoya kushika pesa. Hizo wakuna huko. Yeah. Na huko ni total isolation. Yani umefungu wapo ndo? sababu anataka what's good for you. Yeah. Wewe ukiona ni jela bado 
ni sawa so mm. mimi nilikuwa naona ah siku ya kwanza ni jela mm. ni vita tu mm. na sema huko kuna ni boo mm. naambia marafiki venye nataka ku, nataka kuhepa na mimi nilikuwa nawaambia lakini siku anaenda ku report kwa mwalimu ati mimi nataka kuenda mm. lakini roho yangu naniambia tu nataka kuenda na nitoke ni tu huko lakini Kenya ilinispire ili kabla sija kuja huko mzai wangu alipasa so tulienda kama zishi mm. so hiyo ilinipanga ilianza kunipea motivation mm-hmm. juu miku wetu mimi ndo boy peke yangu. Okay. Hao wengine wote ni ma girl child. So nikaanza mm-hmm. kunipa motivation, nikaanza kuwa motivated, nikaamua ni push on a life. Mm-hmm. Nikapusha hadi saa hii niko hapa. Mhm. Tafika time ene. Unajua bado kuna kwa gana triggers. So siku fulani nikaokota bangi karibu na kompani ya shule. Eh nikasema eh na si nimepata uradi. <laughs> Ujikumbushe. Eh nijikumbushe <laughs> yeah. lakini sasa kuna kitu ene nikaanza kukumbuka. Nikaanza mm. Tuliambiwa anga tukitaka kufanya kitu ya ujinga na walimu kuna mm. mwalimu wasitoka mm. cancel wa Kajafi mm-hmm. kumbuka kwanza pale umetoka vitu umepitia yeah. sure. ndo umekio decision yako so this is the decision the, the decision i was about to make kasema hii mzuri mm. it's not a good decision so nikamua first things first nipeleke east staff kwa mwalimu mm-hmm. nimwambie nyenye mwalimu nyenye hii hii ni trigger nimeni eh imeni tempt hadi <laughs> <laughs> kuleta tu kwako nyenye ni kazi. <laughs> ni kama nimebeba mzigo ya, ya, ya 20 kg kwa kwa mgongo mara round 10 hivi. Mm-hmm. So nikasema nikaipeleka eh hadi mwalimu akastuka akasema eh nyenye kijana unajaribu usiju uzo yeah. endelea tu hivyo. Mm-hmm. Nikapiga tu program yangu, program yangu nikapiga mzuri. Mm-hmm. Si lose hope. Hiyo ni nikamaliza hiyo ni ya sobaness nikapeleka ushago. Mm-hmm. Nikakaa jua tu ushago pia alikuwa ameambia huyu kijana wenyu ni mbaya. Sure chukaeni rada na e, mm. kila kitu ene mnafanya mweke macho yake kwake na vitu zenyu mweke safe lakini sasa mimi nilienda nikawa surprise mm. nimeenda kwa show yangu kwanza na moshi ya nyumba mm-hmm. na piga dasta na shaviombo na fagia compound naenda bado kwa aunti na mfanyia the same shamba ikifika saa ya shamba kwenda jua nasema watu wa Nairobi ni wazembe mm-hmm. na watu wanango wanasema ah huyu jamani ni mtu wa pesa bana mm. adhani watu wa Nairobi ni watu wa pesa so mm. nikaenda nika nikawa shock kwanza kusiona wakaanza kuona usi ule jamaa tu kwa naambiwa mm-hmm. is a totally different person so hiyo as a motivation so kuna mko wangu fulani alikujanga kaanza kusema ai huu ni wewe kweli na venye tulikuwa naambiwa story ni nyingine tofauti mm-hmm. so nika mimi nika nikamwa tu ni venye wameanza kunisifu hivyo nikasema kumbe ni mzuri bado build relationship na watu wa familia mm-hmm. usikuwe mrudi ngumu jumi nilikuwa ga mrudi ile simchezo thank you mm-hmm. we thank god amen that uh, whatever is hard with the people with god everything is possible and uh, brandon has changed weekly ukatoroka shule when did you decide now to go na ulirudi shule na umemaliza ama what what happened okay sasa mm. after 2013 we tutoka shule mm. ka rudi street 2014 2015 situation ka jiri bit tu venye ilikuwa huko nyuma tena nitarudi huko mwenye kujificha tena mm-hmm. so after hiyo 2016 wakaona huyu jamani kama ka huko mm-hmm. hadasaidika nikapelea kwa huko kibiko mm-hmm. ngong that by that time hiyo ndilikuwa rehabilitation center mm-hmm. before amisha wapeleka rongai eh yeah. ukatoka boma eh yeah, nitoka boma okay. rescue okay. walinipeleka mm-hmm. kibiko okay. before hiyo kibiko hiyo rongai ndio walitoa kibiko kama rehab wakaileta rongai mm-hmm. na hiyo kibiko sasa sa ndio ndio iko kama seven institution a vocational training okay sai okay. so when peleko kwa one year but then the manager one year mm-hmm. maliza huko juko sasa kweli unamsikia ba amesema bando na amesema uko nikufungiwa kuna kio unaona yeah. una card 247 mm. kama umekaa huko kila kitu una provide yo, lakini madawa sijui nini hizo mm. unatoka mm. so it happen that nikamaliza program tena nikapelekwa shule so unajua kitu tricky ni yenye wenye walifanya kunitoa huko anipeleka shule James Gishuru mm-hmm. opposite na dumping site tena <laughs> James Gishuru opposite <laughs> na dumping site uh, na unazoea dumping site ni friend yako <laughs> sasa unaona kitu gani yeah. tena mi na tena sikumaliza oh, wow. nilifanya makosa tena shule mm. wakuja kujaribu kunitetea but ikakataa ya makosa nilifanya nye haikuwa ina make sense juu kuiba bag nilikuwa naiba ma bag za must be there na uju unaiba kwa nini si yani siku sijui hata nilikuwa nafanyia nini naiba tu ma bag mm-hmm. so it happened that nimefukuzwa shule so only option ile baki 
father ilibidi tu anibebe vile nilikuwa mm. akanipeleka countryside ushago sasa mm-hmm. so u father ananipeleka countryside mwenyewe tu mm. jo aliona kweli huko hivi na sasa yeah. survive akanipeleka huko so akaamua sasa niende shule mm. so pia mimi nikaamua juu sasa huko ushago sasa yenyewe hakuna vile utafanya utafanya nini huko hakuna mm. kazi utafanya tupate do mm. wende unoe madawa huko madawa tena hajashi hajakuwa ni mm. tena kuna street huko venye huko kwa tuna pia pressure hiyo yeah. kidogo juu mnaishi kwa boma tu kama yeah. familia mm. so akanipeleka huko good nikaenda kaishi na anti akanipeleka shule mm. so hivyo ndio nilimaliza nimefanya for nimeanza form 1 nilianzia form 1 mm-hmm. huko nimemaliza form 4 mm-hmm. for now nilifanya nilitia bidi by the way juu mm-hmm. sana huko nikaona kweli hadi ukiangalia kwenye mtoka mm-hmm. unasema life yenyewe ni ngumu wewe mm-hmm. utamani pia watoto wako waishi life kama hiyo mm-hmm. pia unatamani ku yeah. life ya watoto wako na life sure. yako si ndio yeah. mm-hmm. so nikaamua kusoma na nimesoma nimemaliza nimefanya form 4 mm-hmm. nimepata b plus wow Congratulations. Yeah, so termination. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. For now sasa niko prepared. Mhm. Do kusips ndio inatusumbua saa hii. Kusips ndio inatuweka kwa pressure juu hizo mahangi zao. Yeah. So Mhm. Niko na try ku apply courses. So mm-hmm. niko na prefer civil engineering. Mm-hmm. So that hiyo niko kwa roho yangu kutoka vitu nilingia form 1. Okay. Hii ilikuwa tu kwa roho mm-hmm. civil engineering. Mhm. So hivyo ndio yuko story yangu. Na ngangana upate ama tayari umepata. Na ngangana juu za kuzips na wanatusumbua. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. But lazima nitangangana with the help of the father. Yeah, yeah. Lazima tu. Okay. Unajua Mungu naye akuna mm. mpango zake. Kabisa. Lakini nashukuru mm. institution mm. kwa vijana wengine wa nyako huko nje. Mm. Pia wajaribu tu yani ku change unajua ni wewe mwenyewe. Yeah. Hakuna maisha yenyewe unaweza isha alafu kosa ku change. Mm. So lazima ujikubali kwanza. Yeah alafu ndio ujue vile kutakuwa. Mhm. Juu Mungu kweli yako na Mungu amekupangia future poa uko mbele. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you weekly. Father, yeah. what does yeah. that make you feel as uh, the one running the nini the the rehabilitation center but, uh, and in connection with the missions of hope. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, mm. I think uh, everything is born by being a Komboni mission. Sure. Uh, as Komboni mission is really as I said at the beginning we serve the poor and most abandoned mm-hmm. even in our missionary work in kenya we are in west pokot in turkan yeah. in masabit in, yeah. in the slums in kariobangi parish mm-hmm. in a, in areas where you know it's not easy but it's important to be yeah. because the lord calls us to be mm. and even our program is highly spiritual it's a very catholic program sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in fact when mm. they are in uh, in the residential rehab is uh, the, the the possibility to receive the sacraments is offered yeah. to the young men okay. and last year out of mm-hmm. 34 26 has to be baptized and yeah. receive their sacraments that's good so is is spiritually founded mm-hmm. and rooted in also in our charisma as Comboni missionaries mm-hmm. you know it makes me feel like i'm living my missionary life to the fullness sure i'm serving the lord mm-hmm which what fulfills me yeah. i'm serving my brothers and sisters to the best of my abilities mm. with our mistakes with our setbacks yeah. but we really try to to be images of christ because i always say you cannot talk about love mm. you can only love you cannot talk about forgiveness mm-hmm. you can only forgive yeah when the theories and the words become reality mm-hmm. and we try to do the best we can also in a professional way we don't leave anything to to chances that's good is uh, is really very important for us as komboni missionary to continue to witness the gospel in the different aspects of our missionary life what the komboni missionaries have entrusted to me is the responsibility of this program on appenda kuishi mm-hmm. and is there where i fulfill my mission the mission of the komboni missionary so i thank the lord mm-hmm. and as uh, we always say with our young men never stop dreaming thank you sio gope ku dream <laughs> That's the, <laughs> that's the, <laughs> the, that's the, yeah. <laughs> because it's important not to be afraid to dream sure. and to dream big sure. and also for us you know the the success stories of Brandon who mm. at the end of the year will become a certified plumber mm-hmm. yes that's or weekly we go to civil engineering university mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Duncan we study law at Nairobi University Karibu we study medicine and others mm-hmm when we really do God's work to the best of our ability as community missionaries as witnesses of the gospel as disciples of the Lord thank you 
The time is not on our side, so allow us to have the closing remark. Brandon, tell us what you are doing now and what would be your advice to the to your fellow young people, maybe in the in the street or yeah, short in a short. nutshell. <laughs> yes. So mm. as for me right now I'm pursuing plumbing uh so mm -hmm. So I pick a double double. Now it's a cause a job. Masana Rico Poa. Support you, support you. Yes, it is a poor. I love who message and get a good shout out to Mavijana. E life, Usway Luzop, Kitia Kwanza, Jew, Najua challenges, Mana mna Pitia, CPS to my Pitia. So Usidanu go Pekiako, Tafta to Tafta to me and Akuskiza Missouri, a person who can. Here you out and raise your concern. I love you. Oh, Jama, when you raise, I want to be your talk. Say, dear, na pia kitu yakuanza na nasa manga msuwa isa au na msuwa ya disa au kweka mungu mbele. Mungeka mungu mbele kila kitu na fanya kina wazeka na juu mini meona ni mo na in action. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Brandon Wickliff. So, mi kwa lengi anza kuna na appreciate kwanza the Daniel Daniel Kumbwe ni missionaries. Then. Nigependa kwambia vijana huko mta. Nothing is impossible. So put God first, then everything will be possible. Thank you. Thank you, Wycliffe. Finally, Father, Father Maurice. One thing I always say, you know, I always remark over and over the fact that we want them to dream. Yeah. And I invite everybody who is listening, who is watching, to dream with us. And the next time you see a chokora, yeah. Look at him in a different way. Sure. Look at him as a child of God. Mm -hmm. And somebody who needs to be loved. Mm -hmm. Somebody who needs hope. Somebody who needs dignity. That's what we try to do. So as Christians, we are called to love with no questions. Mm -hmm. We're not if, but. We're called to love. We're called to forgive. We're called to be merciful. And especially in this time of Lent, I think uh, maybe we should fast uh, from meat also, but also from judging others. Sure from being judgmental, for condemning others because they made mistakes. For us, is, we call ourselves the place of the eternal second chance. Wow. There is always a second chance with us, no matter what. Thank you. Because forgiveness is what we do. Mm -hmm. The love of God is what we try to embody each and every day. So please, dream with us and with our young men. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Father Mauricio, a Comboni missionary, for even arranging and bringing Brandon and Wycliffe to our studios today, to our studio, we don't take it for granted. We have always talked about missions of hope, but uh, fortunately today, God has made it possible for us to have people who are going to give us a successful story that it is true. Men and women, religious, are carrying out missions of hope, offering hope to the less fortunate. We, we pray that you pray for us, that as we carry out these missions, it really be that offering hope to the society. It has been I, Sister Esther Moturi, Missions of Hope, and in the studio I was with Father Mauricio and Wycliffe and Brandon. Until next Tuesday, God bless you.
This is Captain TV, your Catholic identity, and today... The opportunity to thank the Almighty God for such an opportunity to express ourselves. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Yeah. That who we are and who God... At home, we used to pray every day. If you want to pray for some, they should go and pray and then she will receive us. They should come back.